everyone, it's Tristan, and today I want to talk a little bit more about Call of Duty Ghosts Extinction Mode. Primarily today I want to talk about Rhinos, how to kill them really fast, how to keep them from messing up your team, or like scattering right in the middle of probably the last fight would be the most inconvenient time to run into them, but uh, once you get past the second stage you'll be running down this path and you'll notice one coming at you. Right now I've got my right shield to two or three. Uh, points into it, and I've also got a vulture with three points into it. These are the two things you'll be needing. It doesn't matter what kind of class you have afterwards, but once you have the rhino's attention, make sure you have your riot shield out and your vulture in. The rhino will come right after you, and he'll start smashing your shield. You'll notice I don't take any damage, but your riot shield does, and even if it gets knocked out or it destroys your riot shield, you have enough time to switch to it without getting down. The Vulture will almost kill it, or you can kill it by itself depending on how much you've upgraded it. And it's a really good way to have uh, one of your teammates just focus on one thing or one task. Right now I'm the medic. My job is to run around and revive people and to kill these rhinos. And you'll notice that he only goes after the person that he's focused on, so when you come up and you start killing all these people, He'll just sit there and he'll pound away on your shield and your teammates can literally walk up and, and shoot at him from punching distance and it won't do anything. But uh, that's pretty much how to kill a rhino really easily without getting down, without getting your whole team down. And um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this commentary. And in the background right now I've got playing the, um, the final run to the end of Extinction Mode. Right now I'm uh, using the pistols only relic. So, um, the weapon purchases are not allowed. Uh, that's another reason that it would be good to carry this ride shield. Because once you start getting into these, these relics, it becomes really difficult to beat the game. Um, not that it wasn't before, but uh, this can uh, really, really increase the chances of your survival. Now, before I go, I also want to add that if you do beat Extinction Mode with one of these relics on, you do get an achievement. Um, as well as, you get an achievement if you beat it with four people and they'll survive, beating it period, and beating it with minute 30 left on the clock, I believe. We'll see him at the beginning or uh, the end of some of the other videos that I've posted. So keep an eye out for those achievements if you're looking for them, and if you have any questions or comments about what you want to see in these videos later on, I will be trying to do the DLC, I will be trying to do these with all of the relics on and moving my way up to those. I'm going to continue trying to do Extinction Mode videos for a while. Uh, I do have a Black Ops montage on hold. I just want to get this in the end with clips before I try and do something for Ghosts. And if you do have any clips, just uh, send me an Xbox Live message. My username is Tristan Dubois, T-R-I-S-T-A-N space D-U-B-O-I-S. Uh, always looking for new clips, always looking for someone that's interested in uh, sending me stuff. So keep an open mind and I'll see you next time. Supplies over here! 